my name's Craig from Camden, New South Wales, and this is my 1971 HQ Monaro. I've been into cars my whole life. My old man was been into cars ever since, yeah, ever since I can remember, so it's his fault. <laughs> So my first car, I was um, 16. Um, I paid $200 for it. It was a K17 Toyota Corolla. Um, Four-speed manual, not a straight panel on it. Everything was dented. Um, and I just, I used it for about three years, with not an issue. So it was just a daily driver to and from work. I had a Holden Gemini that we put a new motor gearbox in, um, lowered it, put some wheels on it, and after a week of having it on the road, I got rid of it because I got pulled over three times. Um, yeah, just for driving around, so I thought I'd get rid of that. That's a bit of a cop magnet. And then I had a um, HZ ute that I started rebuilding, so, and we were um, probably about halfway through the bodywork stage, me and my old man doing it. Um, and that was when I was about 16, 17, and I, I decided I wanted a Monaro. When the search was on, it was back when the trading post was in, in paper form, so every Thursday I'd get the paper. After looking at 12 cars, um, this one come up and we, we bought it. When I bought it, I was about 19, I think it was. It was just standard looking, so we um, put a nine inch in it, um, shortened the diffs to get fat tires under it, just 15 inch um, weld wheels. I sold the motor and box out of it, and me and my dad bought, uh, built a 383 stroker. But eventually it got the better of me with the chips and imperfections and the paint, and I wanted to pull it down and, and do it right. I stripped the car um, in three days, then we, we got it sandblasted. The sandblaster etched the car as soon as it was done, and then it started rusting through. So I had to literally, yeah, wire brush the whole car by hand. So it was, yeah, it was a pain in the ass. Me and my dad, like when we were putting it back together, we, we put we fit the motor gearbox dip, um, all the fuel lines, um, all that type of stuff, Wind, like glass, um, all the, the, the windows, which are a nightmare on a HQ coupe. So, but yeah, it was just, I just wanted to go to that next step, so I decided to go to, to Custom Body Works. The aim was to build a top 60 car, so I'd be over the moon if it was in summon at all in the top 60. The motor was in it prior to this build, uh, it was a 383 stroker. It was a fairly strong motor, but I just wanted that little bit more. So it's a 414 small block Chev. I think like an old school car needs an old school motor, so there's nothing better than an old school Chev. So yeah, so that's why I didn't do any sort of modern um, changes. I think it just suits the car. The gearbox is um, the original gearbox I got built um, back in the day. So that's been going strong for about eight years. Got a reverse pattern, five and a half grand converter in it, trans brake. So, and I used to leave the line at the drags and I used to race the car at five and a half grand on, on the trans brake all day. Yeah, the rear end, it's a, it's a nine inch, got 35 spine axles, shortened obviously to, to fit the, the wheels and it's been, the car's been mini tub to suit the, the 22s on the back. I went intro wheels, because I think um, old school muscle cars, they need chrome bumper bars and chrome wheels. So the interior, when, when I first bought the car, was just the original, like an off-white coloured trim. So yeah, so Maddie from Inside Rides come up and yeah, it's got Recaro seats in the front, Recaro seats in the back, um, all custom door trims. The only thing really original is, is the dash itself, but it's got a custom dash fascia. The centre console the whole way through the car, so um, I, I, I changed it from a five-seater to a four-seater. I think it suits the car a little bit better. The colour on the car is a house of colour um, custom mix. The original colour of the car was um, black watch green, so it was a dark metallic green as it was. When I first took the car to Danny's, I said I wanted to paint it green, and he laughed at me and said he'd never paint the car green. When we got the colour, colour sample, Danny loved it, so it's good to know that you know someone that doesn't like green but actually likes his colour, it, um, yeah, it's, it's something else. So yeah, Danny approached me um, probably halfway through the build and said we're going to unveil this car at Motor X. So I was a bit taken back by that. Yeah. The unveil it was, um, it, was, it was pretty special. So um, I've never done anything like that before. So very stressful, I suppose you'd say, but exciting at the same time. So it's yeah, it's, a, it's an awesome feeling. The gold medal for paintwork in Street Elite Showcase 2016 goes to a beautiful green holder. Yeah. We come away with gold for paintwork, um, second bodywork, third interior, and third design ex execution. Just to have my car there and, and unveiled was was a, a more of an award in itself sort of thing. But to walk away with sort of four awards was um, yeah was mind blowing. I, I couldn't believe it.
I like building the cars just as much as I like to drive them. Um, so I'm getting fairly itchy now um, with this car finished. So yeah, my missus wouldn't, um, yeah, she wouldn't be too fond of it, but it's, it's gonna happen, so yeah. <laughs> I don't know why we do it, so <laughs> um, it's sort of an addiction, I suppose. So yeah, it's just it just doesn't make sense. You drive a car every day, and you just don't get the same feel um, for when you get into one of these cars. It's just the feeling of driving down the street and people just turn around, and you just can't explain the feeling that that you get. It's just yeah, just awesome. So some people play soccer or football, and and I spend and spend money on cars and build cars.